Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Rosh from The Poor Millennial Mom and this channel is all about cash stuffing, budgeting, and debt repayments. So if you're into that, please stay tuned. A few videos ago I mentioned that I was going to be tracking all of my purchases on a weekly basis in June and posting a video going through that every week. So that's what this video is. Um, before we begin and I take you through my spending, I just want to tell you kind of the rules of this. So this tracks the spending on my debit cards. Uh, this does not track credit card spending because I have completely stopped spending on my credit card and I'm focused on paying them down. This includes anything that's drafted out of my account. It includes any purchases I make on my two main bank accounts. So I have two bank accounts. One is with RBC. It's my main checking account that my paychecks and some of my bills come out of. And then I have a secondary one that is my tangerine account, which is where I keep most of my savings, but it also has a checking account attached to it that I will use for personal spending. So um, this does not include any regular bills with a couple exceptions, but it doesn't include things like my rent or my grocery bill or anything like that. So everything in this tracker is specifically separate. It's not something that I'm saving up for every month to pay. It's not a specific bill. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, leave a comment down below. So if you're wondering what this tracker is, um, also there is a lot of like, you can see I had to wipe some stuff out, but you know, this is my bullet journal. So this is where I do all of my planning for the month. Um, it's still a work in progress. I like to work on my bullet journal throughout the month in terms of decoration, but I have a few things that I put in every single month. So if you're interested in learning more about my bullet journal, let me know, I'd be happy to make a video. But anyways, that being said, let's talk about my purchases from May 30th to June 5th, which was Sunday. So the week started on a Monday, I put $25 into my Wealth Simple investment account. I use that to buy stocks. It's auto drafted, comes out every week without fail. Um, and I just find it an easy way to invest. And then something that's not tracked on here, but is the following week is my auto savings, which is also $25 that goes into my Tangerine account and gets allocated into whatever category I feel like needs it. And if not, it goes to my emergency fund. So that was the first thing that happened. And then also on Monday, I bought snacks at the market on campus where I work. So that was $12.15. Um, this was kind of like starting my snack drawer at work. I have a filing cabinet. I keep snacks in it. I'm a snacker, you know, don't come at me. I like snacks. The next thing is Tuesday the 31st. I bought coffee and a sandwich for breakfast, like a breakfast sandwich from the Tim Hortons. That was $6.50. Then I also bought an iced tea for my coworker and myself from Good Earth. So that was $11.44. I bought groceries. So this is above and beyond my regular grocery budget because it came out of my personal account as opposed to the shared account. So that's why it's on here. And that is $40.57. I don't remember why I spent that much. I think I must have bought some olives because I am a sucker for an olive. Um, I took an Uber home from work that day actually from the train to home because uh, the bus was late and my daycare costs $1 per child per minute that you are late and uh, the Uber was cheaper than paying the late fee. So, you know, childcare problems. And then I also ordered a grad dress. So this is one of my biggest purchases. It was $318.68. I actually ordered two dresses from Henka. They're, they sell convertible dresses. And I will put a picture up on the screen here somewhere for you to see which one I bought. I really love it. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. Um, I actually bought two and I am going to be returning one because it just didn't work for me. I didn't like the style. So this will, this will, part of this will be refunded. I think the second dress was $88. So I also paid for express shipping because I wanted it to get here before my graduation on Friday morning. And it did, hooray. Uh, but I need to plan better so I don't need to pay for that. And then Wednesday the 1st, so these are not in order, but 
grad heels. I went to Nordstrom to buy heels. They were $179. I don't own heels. Uh, now I do. <laughs> For those of you who have bought shoes lately, seriously, what is up with shoes? They're so expensive. I went to every single shoe store in the mall, every single one. It took me two hours and I could not find any shoes I liked. Well, that's not true. I did finally find two pairs of shoes I liked, but I haven't gone shoe shopping in literal years. Like, I don't think I've bought shoes since before the pandemic. And I just found it incredibly difficult to buy them. So let me know if you are also having trouble with shoe shopping. While I was at the mall, I bought myself a dinner burrito from Taco Time, and that was $11.95. I'm a sucker for a burrito, even though Taco Time burritos are terrible. Um, I went to Chapters to buy a new notebook and some books, so that was $26.20 because I have a $20 coupon. This is the new book I bought. It is my bullet journal. <laughs> and then I also bought Margaret Atwood's The Testaments, so that I'm really excited to read that because Handmaid's Tale is one of my favorite books. It's one of my favorite books, I love it. So I was really excited to get the Testaments for like $10 and then the notebook and I think I bought something else, don't really remember, but. I also renewed my Plum Plus. Um, while I was at Chapters, that was $40.95. I buy and read a lot of books. So this is valuable to me. My family uses it as well to get the 10% dis discount. So it works, it's fine. I have bought some grad jewelry from a local shop, um, $37.80 for two rings. I'm not wearing them because they're upstairs, <laughs> but they're quite nice. I really like them. Black loafers from Matt and Nat, that was $84. Again, really hard to find shoes. I didn't know Matt and Nat made shoes, but they do, and I really quite like them, so that was nice. Then I took an Uber home from the mall um, because transit in my city is terrible and the train station near that mall is notorious for danger um, and I did not want to get injured um, coming home. So I took an Uber that was $19.34. I guess I must have also taken an Uber to work that morning because that was $26.36 which is about what an Uber to work costs. So you know that uh, I really got to cut down on my Ubering, really. And then one click, I don't know what one click is. Uh, it's $14.98, so I'm gonna call the bank and find out what the heck that is and what I'm paying for. So I really hope it's not one of those insurance things, but let's, we'll see. Um, what else do we have here? Dinner with the family. So my sister took me out to get a mani-pedi before my graduation on Thursday and that was sixty-seven oh nine because I bought dinner for my sister and mom. And then I also Ubered to work that morning, so that was twenty-six thirty-four. Um I paid for my accepted membership for the month of June and that was sixty-four ninety-nine. I was debating getting rid of this, but I actually really value it, so I'm gonna keep it. Um I just really like having accountability buddies that to talk to. Anyways, February the 3rd, that was, or not February, Friday, <laughs> Friday the 3rd. That was my lunch before grad. I bought the kids Subway at the food court before the ceremony because I knew they would be hungry. That was $12.05 because children's meals are cheap. Then I also bought smoothies for myself and my partner from Booster Juice and those were not cheap. That was almost $20 for two smoothies, so oof. Um... I also bought shampoo and a toothbrush from Shoppers, that was $26.27. Kleenex and mints from the market because I knew, I knew I was gonna cry during the ceremony, and I did. I managed to make it until the tassel toss, and then I started bawling, so it was a good thing I bought the tissues. And I did share with my friends. We all, we all needed some tissues. So, um, $5.33. Disney Plus prescription came, prescription, Disney Plus subscription. <laughs> Uh, came out that was $12.59 so that was on Saturday and then on Sunday Sunday was an expensive day too um, I've decided to take up quilting because <laughs> I don't have enough hobbies I decided to take up quilting and that was $103.74 for some notions and fabric and a book things like that and I also took my kids and my partner out for brunch at Phil's which is like a local diner 
So that came to $99.23 after the tip, which was exceedingly expensive for brunch, or maybe not for four people. I don't know. But that's what I've been covering up. Here is my week one total, $1,304.02. Now, that's a lot of money to spend in one week. Trust me, I know. But a lot of this, including the grad dress, the heels, um, the rings, and the shoes, the loafers, all came out of a savings account that I had set aside specifically for grad stuff because, you know, grad, I was not really one for my high school grad, but university grad, like doing it through a pandemic with, as a single parent with two kids, um, like, I wanted to celebrate. I really, I wanted to make it a thing, like, I went out, my parents took me out for dinner, like, my friends, we had a party, like, we did it, we did it, and I wanted to celebrate that fact, because I could have given up, I wanted to give up a lot of times, but I didn't, so that's exciting, and I'm done, I, I have finished my degree, I have graduated, I have the piece of paper, no one can take it away from me. Um, I've got the photo to prove it, you know, um, and I did it. And I think part of budgeting is giving yourself grace and giving yourself a budget to celebrate those things, to celebrate your win wins, to go, I did it, or my friend did it, or my family member did it or my kid did it to really celebrate that because I think those moments in life are so so important those are where we build our connections those are where we acknowledge what we've done so yeah um <laughs> so that is my week of spending uh, just for fun let's take a look at what I ended up actually spending so I've already started week two um it's not done yet obviously but I'll make you a video when it's when it is done next week so let's take a look here. We're going to skip the investment because it doesn't really matter. Let's start with miscellaneous. So $12.15. So $17.48 in miscellaneous spending. I really need to get like one of those budget mom spending trackers, but you know, I will. <laughs> Food. Okay, so $6.50. So, $268.78, uh, that's a lot of money, <laughs> there's no two ways about it. Um, let's write that down at the bottom, what color did I make food? Okay, so, $268.78 for food. I need to like add part of that into my tracker, but that'll be something for the next month when I do it. Um, bullet journals are like a living entity. Oh man, the iterations I've gone through bullet journals, but anyways, okay. Next is, let's say travel. So $11.70. Still a lot of money. Okay. What do we have next? Personal. This one's going to be a doozy. I already know. So, woof. That's a... Uh, that's a pretty decent chunk. So we have $816.64. Yikes. <laughs> Just yikes is all I can say there. Um, okay, next is... What color am I missing, guys? Orange. Is... Oh, wrong side of the pen. 77 58 all right so those were my totals for the first week of june 
So I would love to know your thoughts down below. Please let me know. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you and I will see you again soon with another video. Bye.